My foundation looks like a freaking bull's testicle today, but the show must go on. Hey guys, it's V. Today I am recording another installment of V Vibes and Vents. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's just get into it. I'm gonna zoom you guys into my face. Like I said, I was having some trouble with my foundation today, so just disregard how terrible it looks. But if you're new here, hello. And uh, yeah, this is where I just do my makeup while I talk to you guys. And today I'm going to be doing something that is very requested by you guys, it seems. Because I did the Maybelline Color Jolt video and I was wearing kind of a very like red brown, just like, it's very basic. So I mean, maybe this won't be long. Probably not because they're always long, but maybe it won't be. <laughs> kind of a brown, warm, smoky sort of... I don't know, eye thing, and everyone in that video has been asking me what is on my eyelids, and I'm gonna be using a different palette than I used in that video, but it's gonna be a very similar, similar look. So yeah, I'm excited. Today I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution Neutrals versus Neutrals. I'll uh, put that right here so you guys can tell the difference because it sounds like I just said the same thing twice. But uh, this you can get at Ulta, and I think it's like 10 bucks something like that. So I'm going to be using this today because I don't think I've done a video where I've used it yet. And it's a really pretty palette. I really like it. It's beautifully warm toned. Very similar to the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I've also sold myself. So yeah, let's get into it. So firstly, I am going to take, hold on, let me put this because I saved this because it has the colors on it. Firstly, I'm going to take the color Trend, which is this color, which is a very warm orangey brown color that is the bane of my existence in terms of makeup and i'm gonna pop that all over my lid going for a very earthy look all around today got some fallout just whisk that away real quick this one little hair has been bugging the absolute poop out of me but i can't get it to stay down so it's just gonna have to live a a crazier life so maybe I'll talk a little bit about Pokemon Go because I'm sure people that do not care about Pokemon do not care about Pokemon Go but I thought I would talk about it for a little bit so I thought that I could resist it and the reason that I wanted to resist it is because I knew that I would be instantly addicted to it and I didn't want that for my life because um, when it comes to Pokemon, I just have a very addictive personality. <laughs> when I first got Pokemon Y, um, I logged like 400 hours. So yeah, um, I've been a Pokemon fan since it came out. Since it was on Game Boy, I've been a Pokemon fan. So I am not one of these people that doesn't like Pokemon but likes Pokemon Go. Which, if you're that way, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> um... Because if you like Pokemon Go, um, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you like Pokemon because the whole point of playing Pokemon is to catch the Pokemon and to make them stronger and to beat gyms. So if you like Pokemon Go, that's what all the games are about. It's just a different form of doing it. <laughs> so whenever I hear someone say that, it's kind of upsetting to me because I'm a true since day one fan. I'm my Game Boy, my Aqua Game Boy color of the days the days of the days of early Pokemon okay now I'm going to take this really dark brown shade which is the shade one of these oh I thought it was called slut it's called sweet but that's funny okay this one is called custom so I'm gonna take that shade I really wish they printed the names underneath here makeup revolution I know that this palette was cheap but like spring for at least putting it on the back it's not even on the back just gonna put that a little bit on the outer corner just a little bit because I didn't really do this in that other look but I just want to deepen it just a tad bit and then I'm just gonna kind of bring it very lightly over my whole eye just to give it more of a brownie tinge rather than straight up like orange see what I'm saying this one has sparkle in it, but you can't even see the sparkle when it's on the eye. Like I see not one ounce of sparkle in that one. I finally downloaded it. I finally downloaded Pokemon Go because everybody was playing it and I was just getting kind of jealous. Like even Sam, who was not a normal Pokemon fan, downloaded it. 
and um, she's been having fun playing it and I just love listening to her try to pronounce the Pokemon names <laughs> or just try and like tell me what they are <laughs> like that part is really funny to me like she oh did I just get a color no I didn't okay like she obviously Pidgey is a very um, prominent character in Pokemon Go and she was like I need to catch this piggy <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, oh my god, you crack me up, piggy. And there's a doe duo, and she's like, oh, the two-headed one, I've been wanting that one. And I was like, ah, yes, doe duo. <laughs> it's just so funny to me how this game has just blown up the world. And now I'm like, every time I want something now, it's going to be sold out, like, Pokemon-wise. I'm going to have to be real careful about stuff from now on. Because it's always going to be sold out, and I don't know what I'm going to do in that situation. <laughs> So now I'm just going to take a dark brown eyeliner on my bottom lash line. This is Immortal Love from Kat Von D. It's just one of her um, pencil eyeliners. I'm going to put that on my lower lash line and kind of smudge it underneath my lash line also. Again, this is not exactly that look. But I've already done a V-Vibes and Vents using the Kat Von D eye contour shade and light eye palette. And I didn't want to do another one, so I wanted to use a different palette, so I thought I would make it a little bit different, but still similar to the look that I did, that everyone loved so much. These Cap on D eyeliners are not my favorite, honestly, but it's the only brown eyeliner that I have, so gonna have to make it work. And I didn't bring over a smudging brush, so I'm just gonna use this fat one, and I'm just gonna smudge that along my lower lash line. Yeah, okay, I think that's enough talk of Pokemon Go. Oh, I really hate how my freaking under eye bags, they always make color go underneath there, and I don't put it there. Like, you guys saw, I did not put it there. So many weird things that go on with my face that I just do not understand. Oh, who's that? I feel like I need to try and get rid of that little spot that's under my eye, but I don't know how to go about it, so we're not going to worry about it right now. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that Immortal Love, and I'm also going to smudge it on my top lash line as well. Just because I think I'm gonna wear falsies today, so I need some some kind of base. Hey, Peep! Come on! Hello! Is that Boofa? Is that Boofa Foo? I have so many different nicknames for her. Like, um, okay, so her name is Espeon. True Pokemon fan. You guys know that. Her name is Espeon. But we nicknamed her Espy because a lot of people don't understand what Espeon is or what Espeon means. So we named her Espy. And um, a lot of, like, when we first got her, Blake called her, like, PP or something. And I was like, don't call her PP. That's so mean. We're not going to call her that. And he was like, I'm going to call her that. And I was like, fine, whatever. Call her PP. I don't care. And then, so then I started calling her PP. And then that now it's like, we call her Peeps. I'm getting a little bit more of that orangey shade, just because so, I feel like I'm losing a little bit of it. Um, we call her Peeps. We call her Shpoople. We call, I call her Zaboomafu. Where did she go? That's me. Did she go in the closet? Did you guys see? Dang it, my big old head was in the way. I'm getting her out of there. She needs to stop going in that closet. Peeps, are you in here? You are something else. Come on. No, no, not under the bed. Not under the bed. No. Come on top of the bed. Hang out with me. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully she'll stay. Stay here. Come sit. This is harder than it looks. She never listens to me. Come here. SB! Oh. <sighs> I tried, guys. I tried. Okay, what am I doing now? <laughs> now that I've smudged out all those colors, this one looks kind of chunky. So I'm going to get a little bit more. I'm gonna mix both of these together on this brush and kind of try to fix that. Okay, good enough. But yeah, so anyways, we have so many nicknames for her. We call her so many things. We actually have this cat tree in front of our couch in our living room because we have a sectional, well, we have an L couch, but it's not like an L couch where someone can sit on both sides of it. It's just where like you can lay down on one side. I feel like I've said this before. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of that orangey shade and put it underneath my eye also. But um, she used to scratch on it when we first got it. 
And so we put this little cat scratching post right in front of it. And now, like, whenever we come home, she, like, has to assert herself. And she always goes and scratches on that. And so whenever she goes and scratches on it, we're always like, "Ah, she pissed. Because <laughs> she's always goes over there, like, so angrily. And she's like, kh, 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 scratching on this, like, tall scratching post thing. She needs a new scratching post so bad. She's three. I cannot believe she just turned three this year. So I think that that is it for my eyes. So before I put on eyeliner or mascara or anything, I'm going to go ahead and do my face. So the first product I'm going to do is some bronzer which I didn't bring a bronzer brush. What is wrong with me today? Literally can't do anything. I need to go get a bronzer brush. Okay, got my bronzer, contour, whatever brush. So I'm just going to get some product. And this is actually one that I'm gonna have in my next eBay finds video. It's actually a bronzer that was from a like Disney collection that they did at Walgreens. And yeah, so uh, look out for that in my next eBay finds. I'm debating on filming that today. Can't decide if I want to or not. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, I'm just gonna take that on. This brush, it is so pigmented. A little bit powdery, but, ooh, a lot powdery. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take that and bronze up my face. Even though this foundation is already too dark for me, why not keep bronzing? I feel like this side of my face always looks way better than this side of my face. I don't know how that always happens that way. Good enough. Okay, so now I'm going to take some blush. I think I'm gonna use, um, I think I'm gonna use Coralista, cause we're doing kind of an orangey look. So maybe I'll mix, I'm gonna mix Rockateur and Coralista together from Benefit. I just got these in a holiday set, so that's why they're deep hand because the holiday packaging was like way too intense. It was huge. I like how Coralista has a little bit of like a fun, sheen to it but it's not super pigmented so I don't look crazy and go overboard like I usually do with blush and for highlight today what did I bring did I bring something so for highlight today I actually wanted to use some eyeshadows from this palette so this one is called let's see what it's called what are you called Style. I'm gonna take Style, which is this shade, and I'm gonna mix a little bit of Bias, which is this shade. I'm gonna mix those two together with my Real Techniques Angled Highlighter Brush. Pop that. Whoa, that is intense. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, then I'm gonna blend that on a little bit because it got a little intense. Mm, it's still intense. Nope, still intense, I'm just leaving it. And now I'm going to spray my face. I actually don't like this product. It's the Tony Moly Pocket Bunny Sleek Mist, but I'm trying to use it up. It just smells so ugh. And it, the sprayer on it is terrible. I literally have to spray it like 50 times to get my whole face. And I have to hold it really, really close to my face. But I'm just going to do that to set everything in place. So yeah, let's talk more about SB because She's funny. Um, like I was trying to get her out of the closet because there's a little blanket that I set in there and I set it on the floor and she goes in there and she just does her little kneading thing where she like holds her paws like this and she sticks her face in it and is just like nye, 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 and like licks it and stuff. It's very weird. She's a weird, she's an odd bird. And so um, long story short, we end up locking her in the closet because we close the door and we don't realize that she's in there sitting, kneading on that little blanket. <laughs> but yeah, so um, now I'm just gonna use some mascara on my top lashes. I'm not using a primer today because I want to use falsies. So basically I'm just doing this to make my lashes black. Yeah, she gets, she gets stuck in that closet all the time because we can't see her. I forgot to mention that, like you can't see her when she's kneading in that blanket. Um, you just have to look before you close the door, but she's very good. Like we are very lucky in that she only poops and pees in her cat box. Like pretty much every other cat I've owned has not been that way. So like maybe just the universe was like, you know what, Vienna, you've cleaned up enough cat shit in your life. I'm going to give you a cat that doesn't shit on the floor. I actually have this one picture of, um, when I used to live with my mom and we had our cat Ginger. Uh, my mom still has her, she's like 
13, 14. We got her from a little farm in Minnesota that my grandparents have. Actually, no, we got her from my aunt's farm, not my grandparents' farm. We got Callie from my grandma's farm in Minnesota. But anyways, <laughs> um, now I'm gonna put on some bottom mascara. I'm just gonna use my Falsies Waterproof. And like I said, like I say in every one of these, all my products will be listed down below for you guys also. But yeah, I have this picture of Ginger's cat box when my mom only had Ginger and she literally pooped right in front of the box. It's like, you just couldn't hold it or like you just, I, I don't understand how that happens. It was right in front of the box. She was such a stingy little cat. She was like, if there was just any ounce of extra pee or poop in her box, she would not poop in it. And so uh, she was a little bit of a terror. So we're gonna try this again because obviously in my last V-Vibes and Vents I had some trouble because there was an amazing lightning storm happening and I could not put on falsies. So I'm gonna use these ones today. These are from eBay. They're gonna be in my eBay finds video also. Lots of eBay finds in this video, but I think I am gonna film it today. I just, I feel like it's a nest. I feel like it's needed. I feel like I need to film it because I have like 11 or 12 products to show in it. So I'm excited to film it for you guys. So... I'm just going to take these. These are really pretty. They're like not full lashes, but they're almost full. They're kind of like the perfect length for me because I like to trim my lashes to like almost this length actually. This is my first time trying out these lashes, so I don't know how well they're gonna work. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Brown Physicians Formula Eye Booster and I'm going to go over that. So Lena just texted me and told me that Pokemon Go is kind of addicting. I really appreciate the fact that like all of my close friends are getting into Pokemon Go because honestly none of them were into Pokemon. <laughs> so it's kind of fun that they are finally into something that I've been into since I was a little kid. I wish you could do something else while your freaking false lashes dry, but you really can't because if you let go of them you're gonna lose them happened to me I know that from experience because I was holding a lash and I was like oh I need to go get something from the closet I like went and was looking for it I came back up with this lash was not on this it was, <laughs> it was a little scary because it had glue on it and I was like oh my god please don't be stuck to the floor or something crazy and it was it was stuck to the floor so that was a good day fun fact I actually made this headband for a Halloween costume my hair looked like a total mess so I was like okay I need to put some like braids in it and make it look like it was an intentional mess instead of like uh, just woke up like this you know what I mean <laughs> I feel like this one looks shorter than the other one I don't know eBay lashes what are you gonna do ah! why why does this happen? I don't have a goddamn cute tip. Finished look, I'm done. I'm gonna leave this for the rest of the day. <laughs> All right, I found a cute tip, so we're gonna try and get this off without ruining my life. I don't really understand why they made lash glue where you have to wait to put it on. Does anybody else not understand that? Is there a better lash glue that I need to purchase? Because I'm just not getting what the advantage was for companies when they decided to make lash glue that they were like oh and then wait two minutes before you apply it so that if you need to touch it up you're screwed okay while that lash glue is still working on its life choices I'm going to take um it doesn't have a name on it but the Tartist little um lip liner in the shade of mood ring which I really like that name I actually got this in a 500 point perk from Sephora um more info on why I even had 500 points will be in my monthly Play by Sephora versus Ipsy video, so stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> Don't think any damage happened. Okay, I'm gonna take this and line my lips. That's what I'm trying to say. Eh, not a very good lip liner. Are you guys seeing this? It's like super crumbly and patchy. Do you see this? Do you see this? That just totally came off. I remember I had that problem with the one I got in my Sephora play box also. Oh my god, it did it again. I am not pressing that hard. I'm done using you. You are terrible. Okay, now onto a product from Tarte that I actually like is the Tardis Lip Paints. This one is in the shade Hangry. It's a really gorgeous, like purpley color. Okay, this is really weird because I've liked every other shade that I've had of this Tardis Lip Paint, but this shade 
is not my favorite in terms of like patchiness and stuff. It's kind of going crazy. Stop being crappy. I want to love you. I love all of your sisters. Look at that. I just got all over my teeth. Okay, that was the thing I was most excited to get in that 500 point perk from Sephora and it's turning out to be crap. So I'm kind of upset about that. Kind of want to wipe this off and put on a different color right now. Like, let me just show you guys up close. It looks so dry. Do you see that? And it keeps getting all over my teeth. Okay, yeah, that looked too bad. So I wiped the majority of it off and instead I'm gonna try a different combo. I'm gonna go in with Maybelline's Divine Wine in 695. This is one of their matte formulas. I'm gonna put that on first. These smell so good. Okay, that looks really pretty by itself, but I kind of want a little bit of a purpley tint to it, like the hangry color that did not work out. So I'm going to put a little bit of Bite Beauty's Winterberry on top. It's like this kind of bright pinky purpley thing. I don't know. Maybe we won't do much. Okay, that didn't really change it very much. We're just going to leave it. Okay, so this is now the finished look after all of that turmoil. I'm finally done with this, so I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see it. I love doing these kind of like orangey brown colors on my eyes because I feel like it really makes them pop really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this edition of V Vibes and Vents. Pretty sure it's not gonna be any shorter than any of the other ones. Um, I feel like I have a lot to edit out though, but if you did like this video, be sure to show some love to the like button down there. And if you subscribe, you can be a member of my Muse family and every single one of you guys counts so, 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 so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.